It's locked. Ah. Clever, you crashed my computer. Five, four, three, two, one. Emergency reboot. I have become one with Pillowtron 3000. And you are a <laughs> you will never get past my searing lasers of doom, TM. You are doomed! Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. I want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. I just piped the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway, you are doomed! You will never get past my searing lasers of death! TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillowtron 3000, TM. You will never defeat me. There is no way to get past my lasers of death, TM. There is no way to get past my lasers of death, TM. Crap! Ow! My evil lasers are too powerful for you! I'm not staying any longer. My hair is getting sick. You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillow- Ouch! Okay, that's enough. The hat helped, but not enough. Oh, I love carrying stuff. You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillowtron 3000, TM. Ah, didn't feel a thing. No fair. Ah, I filed this as a bug report. Yeah. Take that. You're cheating. Bounce right off. Ah, bounce right off. You're cheating. Yeah. Ah, didn't feel a thing. Yeah. You're cheating! Bounce right off! Ha! The cell phone has no reception. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is off. Last week on. I think I can squeeze past the fan now. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless! Overheating won't hurt me! I am- It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. Bring it- That's a really big computer. Or something. Ow! The ladder's too hot to touch. I am impossible to touch while superheated. Your attempts to overheat. Ouch! The door is really hot. 
It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax players exist in... It will only work in the non-existent Betamax player. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless! That doesn't use electricity. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state turning fan on 3. Current state of the fan is last week on. Overheating won't hurt me. Overheating won't hurt me. Overheating won't hurt me. This is your last warning to turn back. I share the intelligence of Billotron 3000 PM, and it it's closed and there's no obvious handle. It's a slot. There's some kind of mechanism inside. Billotron 3000 PM, and I... It will only work in the non-existent Betamax player. I can't put it in there. You will never defeat me! It only works on hotel room doors. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful... If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine! If you strike me down, I shall become more- I don't care how much money they were going to pay me, I'm not going in there. I am one- With Pillowtron 3 I'm not going in there. Nothing at the Academy prepared me for this. You will never defeat me! Dolores, you are making a big mistake! What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible! You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a... game designer! You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or, what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> you should have listened to me! You will never def- These extra-large PT-109 tubes are what makes Pillowtron 3000 function. You can't defeat me, Dolores! Death is all that awaits you now! It's locked. You will never defeat me! Dolores, shutting me down will only make me stronger! Death! He's all that awaits you now. Help me, Dolores. Death is all that awaits you now. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. I save me, Dolores. You found all the clues I left. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. I knew you would save me! I knew you would figure it out and come for me! Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. You're insane! I'm not crazy. I need to tell you about something I discovered. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, you lock me in here, and I can't get a chair. And two, how can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But it's going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Acne intervention? No! Artificial intelligence! I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. 
As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. I'm not convinced you're not crazy and insane. I know how it must sound, Dolores. Everything I learned slowly drove me crazy. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure, Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Downloaded? You mean it was pirated? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. It matters to thousands of people who earn a living making games. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a video game. That's crazy. Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes. There are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. Upper world? That's what I've come to call it. We are the upper world for Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. They are the upper world for us. There are probably endless upper worlds, each more sophisticated than the last, all treating the lower world like it was just a game. You're starting to scare me, Uncle Chuck. Good. We need to be scared. Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. Like there is only one house in the whole town? Exactly. Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people. Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. Like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. Like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly. Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. Like next to the bus station is an unfinished screen? There are whole areas of this town that are unfinished, and you conveniently say, I can't go there. Why can't you go there? Do we ever think about that? I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. Well, I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. We don't have free will? No, Dolores. You only have three things you can say. Two now. Can you make yourself say anything else? Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. 
The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. But I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Let's do this thing. We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f***? It's all fake, like my ex-wife I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the f limelight. I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free! Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation now so they can't find me. Good luck. And hurry! I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Shut up, Red. 